What is up everyone? Today we are going to be analyzing Quid, the Pokemon trainer from the Northeast. Don't exactly know what state he's from, if I'm being honest. Uh, the person who upset Tweak in the Smash World Tour pools, uh, which I kind of forgot about, uh, and their Pokemon trainer has been running amok in the Northeast since uh, their locals and like regionals have started coming back. So I want to watch some, because maybe they're the best Pokemon trainer in North America. Obviously, before I'm watching, I'll still give that title to Pandarian, considering Pandarian was PGR, and they're incredible. Uh, but let's see how well Quid does. We got Suarez, Leon, and Light is the matches we're watching, so I'll put those down in the, whatchamacallit, the bar below, because I keep forgetting to do that, but I will actually do that for this one, so let's go. Because I think a big thing that separates a lot of the Pokemon Trainer players is honestly just like how they play neutral with all the characters. Because I feel like there is the general flowchart that you assume people will follow, but then like obviously that can be predictable. So I already like the short hop like weight fares uh, from Quid for sure. Just the Ivysaur, because probably wants to swap to Zards relatively soon, but also, I mean, for like Ivysaur, in my opinion, is actually very good versus Yoshi because moves can just swat. Uh, Yoshi's hitboxes away. And just... Sometimes you just gotta check people with the up like that. Ah, messed up by Suarez, and Quid will definitely capitalize. Quid? Yeah, that was the first time Quid got hit that stock, so... Yeah, good swap there. Very safe, and gets Ivysaur in. You don't want Char or Squirtle in too late, because dies so early. Honestly, that little... They didn't end up pulling the trigger, but, like, that sequence was very good by Quid. Like, the down tilt was incredible. Like, first off, that down tilt was so good. Like, just hoping that they were getting hit by the egg. Read the air dodge, and could have, like, up aired here once they saw the down air, but I guess they tried to, like, just avoid it, and then Suarez, like, fast fell farther than they expected. This is Maple Treeway, y'all. Music. What a down tilt by Squirtle. So, obviously, like, Squirtle, short characters in general are gonna be pretty hard to hit with eggs pretty close. That down tilt was so good, and then. Could have, like, done a different aggression off stage. honestly. Could have just been, like, drop down. Well, they had a double jump. I don't know. The use of down tool to both Squirtle and Ivysaur has been very good so far. Obviously, haven't seen any of this art yet. It literally has not come up. Down throw forward air. Yes, pressure with the up, he forces to ledge, and now Yoshi's without a double jump, and that is dead. That was super clean. That was just, again, their down tilts. Their down tilts have been so good this game, and that's, like, overall like the little bits of, or what one that one one quid that game bleh words that's just solid pokemon trainer damage i feel like they're they're really good at choosing when to stay grounded versus when to go in the air it's been very impressive uh that quid's done that like it's been really really good back air honestly i feel like this is going into charizard territory because just, it's easier to get the final hit as Zard, but also I'm not a Pokemon trainer player. Nice up air. Yeah, Yoshi does have to use double jump sometimes to like get away, so that was pretty smart. I thought uh, down throw up air work. But again, those, well, those were four tilts, but again, Quid's choice of ground moves versus air moves has been really, really good so far. Of course, the, the classic Ivysaur F Smash on ledge. If there is one character that like does that as much as Pikachu, if not more, it's Ivysaur. Also, I love this just on platform. The down the down air from like around platform to land and then up air is super good. Obviously, Yoshi. I'm pretty sure Quid could could have done it a little faster, but Yoshi double jump armor though. Back air dash tech. Not even bothering with Squirtle. Ugh. The damage. Ivysaur's damage is ridiculous. But look at this. Twenty four. Ugh. Uh, uh, for another 40. But granted, that's like just one Kazuya Rage Drive. So, you know, that's really good for Ivysaur. Oh, I love the landing back air. I love landing back airs. Oh, that would have been so cool by Suarez. Didn't work, though. Gets the downer out of the egg, yeah. Sometimes varying your mash timings to know if you can get a punish on whatever the Yoshi does, because obviously Suarez there is trying to, like, hit... Uh, quit mashing super hard, and then Quid gets free 12% for Suarez going for an option too early, so. I'm probably gonna be the least impressed with Charizard, just because I think these characters' hitboxes are dumb, and, like, I'm the most mad at Charizard, but I'm gonna be like, oh, wow, nice fifth back air that landed, because the other four you could not punish. Yeah. <laughs> Add a shield off smash, super good. 
Suarez was kind of fishing here. He's kind of he kind of needed something because he had an entire stock, and that would have been like a lot to deal with. So that makes sense. Honestly, I don't think I feel like Squirtle doesn't do too well because you kind of have to run too close to Bowser to do anything. But I mean, once you get the hit, it's bad. But like that hit is scary to get, in my opinion. I would just play Ivysaur the whole time, personally. Yep, back air. Look at this hitbox. It's so good. So it starts there. Or there, one of them. It's so silly. What a silly move. Silly, silly move. That was not gonna kill, so now we gotta battle all the heavies. But also, Charizard can pretty easily get like a big edge guard if, uh, or like a big sequence. Yeah, with that. Oh, didn't get the back air. Could afford to that air dodge, but wasn't ready, just preferred center stage, which honestly I don't necessarily disagree with. Like, I feel like Charizard has a lot of the good things of Bowser, but Bowser is a little bit more solid, if that makes sense. But also, again, you don't have to play Charizard from 0 to 100, which is the worst part about Bowser, is they just don't have a stock. It's like, oh, I can play like these other really good characters during the stock. Yeah, like, the Squirtle's not working. At least, you know, in my opinion. Ooh, I like that confirm. The dash up tilt was nice. I actually really, really like that. Confirm with the down tilt? Down smash? Alright, that's pretty good. And then, yeah, that was so smart, actually. Because going low hasn't worked a couple times, so as Bowser, you're generally then gonna go high. Of course, you can't go low there because, like, the short hop just baited. Uh, Leon to like uh, be early because you're scared like in this situation I just just go down down air and like that's free so the short hop baited the early up and then you just charge forth much because it literally covers everything super good can't really uh two frame tether recoveries so that's actually another reason that I would just play Ivysaur the whole time because like even if you get hit you're probably fine like you can flame breath I guess the up but you can't do anything else the reverse up of course forward up of course Nair, just to say, get off me. Beautiful landing side B. Leon's landing side B's catch quite literally everyone. Down there. Up there. Back here. And... Oh, what did I miss? Down tilt. And then... Ivysaur. Oh, God. Quid messed up. So that's supposed to... That was supposed to be exactly what happened. But they fast fell their downer. I don't think they meant to. Now it's just Squirtle down tilt. That's been good this game. Bread the jump. A lot of heavies will jump there, so I don't blame them. Also, I'm surprised that uh, Razor Leaf missed. It looked like it was gonna hit, so Quid went for the like immediate confirm, and then like, oh, Bowser actually pancakes quite a bit. Huh. Um, and then was like, oh god, and like freak back out, back to center. And yeah, just reading jumps. I do that out of the corner all the time. It's really, really important. But a newer player. I don't know, I just, the first time I ever heard of them was, um, whatchamacallit, when they beat Tweak at, uh, the Smash World Tour. I don't know how long they've been playing, but that's the first time I heard of them. But also, I'm not really looking up for Pokemon trainers, because it's just not a character I have a ton of interest in overall. Leon, what? You could have got a kill? That was like Down Smash City, or Up Smash, or whatever? Sour spot back air killing Charizard from across stage. Woo! Charizard. Lovely character. Fantastic. Like, I feel like Leon isn't really going for hard reads, and the only, like, bigger things they're going for are side B confirms. Oh! And yeah, just waiting for the down air. Because it will come, because it's, it's a Bowser. And, like, Leon goes for a lot of falling side Bs, but then if you're out of the range of that side B, he's generally not going to do it. Also, yeah, that was a really good sequence. So it's like, react, so forward tilt just is really, really dumb. Turtle. And then it's like, reaction, that, down, down smash covers literally everything. And then gets there fast enough to get the down tilt, which was super good. And then messing up another Ivysaur edge guard, but not supposed to happen. Down throw up B. Not SDIing, but still only taking 28. I think Leon's better online. That's pretty insulting. He was tw top 25 on the PGR. He's gotta find his footing again. His background to shield. Oh, so I don't. What was that? 
Oh, I guess they thought uh, Leon was gonna hit the platform. And I think, yeah, Bowser's so big that once this downer hits, that's literally game. You just wait. And then, like, that exact timing will cover every tech, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, like, in my opinion, if you're gonna have to hold shield at ledge this whole time, maybe just, like, back up and edge trap a different way, or, like, wait until they grab the ledge to, like, do something. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Lol. That's so funny. You might as well let the Bowser, I mean, assuming you don't whip this punish, I mean, you could have, like, I don't know, ran behind Bowser. Uh, just let them get the maximum amount of flame breath. <laughs> Let Bowser get the maximum amount of flame breath out, and then, uh, then get the punish. Yeah, like, I feel like Leon's just edge trapping better. Again, there's no reason to go for that down B against Pokemon Trainer. Like, when, like, one of the things that gives Leon a lot of success is his ledge trapping, and his ledge trapping with, like, F-Tilt and Up B and stuff is going to be way more important, in my opinion, than going for a random cheesy down B. Also, that was 60, because Ivysaur... Finally misses the two frame. The empty jump Nair was gorgeous. Yeah, tried to go for the immediate no, you're not gonna double jump hit. Get the punish, yes. Yes, get the double jump. Water gun, yes. Oh, no Ivysaur? That was prime Ivysaur. Right there is prime Ivysaur. I like that F-Tilt choice a lot. See, there we go. Finally going off of these edge guards. That F-Tilt was so good. Because, like, another back air wouldn't have combined into anything. And I think forward tilt does more damage than most of Ivysaur's aerials. Plus, it puts in a lower angle. So then you can get that edge guard. That was a beautiful choice. That was that was really, really good. Is that fair F-Tilt combo? That was crazy. Oh, I love the confirming to the down air. I love that. That was such a good... Yeah. I feel like a lot of Squirtles would have gone for down throw, but then down throw down air wouldn't have worked, so they would have had to go for down throw forward air, so then the down air was just extra damage there. The double razor leaf? Oh, but the second one didn't get the sweet spot, so it didn't combo. I love the double vine whip. Charizard time! I thought they were just gonna get tilted. Hey, look, a back air in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, never mind. Pretty sure they should have lived that. And like back air, like Bowser's not gonna be able to punish back air. Maybe with side B out of shield, but I don't think so. Down air, yep. Cause Leon hesitated. Leon immediately after seeing the first up B should have up beat or after seeing the first down air should have up beat immediately because uh I've sworn has the landing lag, but didn't Combo, so much damage. Like 50 on Fox is a lot, because he's gonna die at like 80 or 90 to not Squirtle. I'm surprised that down tilt missed. But again, yeah, a lot of pressure right now for Quid. The aggression actually working, and just putting, like, instead of waiting and trying to react with buttons, Quid's being a bit more proactive on using said buttons. I love the way Light uses down air in combo. It's so good. Which is why I understand why he goes for down air uh, off the ledge. It just doesn't work. It's just not as good. <sighs> Hard calling out the jump. Uh, this is also just, this isn't really a light thing. It's just a fox thing. It's like you kind of need Nair and down air to get kills a lot of the times. Um, so they're going to go for jump. So it's a good jump read. It's like a reliable jump read. I am a... God, Light's so good. And he commits, and let's see if he dies, because he overcommitted once. He does not die. Oh, dude, if he got that fucking up smash read, that would have been so, that would have been clean. Try to get a jab block, but Quid was ready for the tech. And fishing for downer up air, gets the up air. And yeah, just tether cancel down air. And having the lead against Fox is really good because then you can like defensively posture yourself a lot better because you don't feel like, oh my god, I'm cornering myself when it's even. It's like, oh, well, like, if you overcommit a single time, I might just throw you off stage and kill you and two-stock you, which is definitely uh, something that happens. And yeah, just making sure. Of course, it is way more important, and Quid knows this, and Quid's been doing it like basically the whole game. It's way, way better against Fox to land behind Fox because otherwise you have up smash out of shield. So if you land behind Fox, he doesn't really have good out of shield options, like, at all. Um... Unless they're gonna like add a shield shine, but that's not good. 
So always basically land behind Fox, which is why parries are so important, because then you get parry up tilt or parry turn around up smash. But if you don't get those uh, as Fox, then it's not going to work. Also, ball of recovery. What an anti-air. Oh! That would have been so good. Like, so there, Light tried to hit a button, but didn't fully commit to the button. And also, this is higher percent, where in this position, this is like, I just try to roll or something, because uh, technically this would just confirm it to grab, I'm pretty sure, if Quid wanted to. But uh, gets whiff punished on his jab. Because the jab comes out. So, like, it's out. But, lol, it just it misses Squirtle because he's too short, I think. So, gets forward tilted again. Love that up tilt anti-air. And then if they got, like, a like a forward tilt turn, like, raw back air or something, that would have been sick. But they did it a little too early. Nice. Or, like, something like that, right? Up there, that would have been sick. But either way, gets it. Finally wins the game to set. It's, like, it's so crazy, because I feel like you have to shield versus Fox, but he's very good on shield. And it's scary to mess with him, because he's so fast that, like, he can just whiff punish you. But speaking of punish, that is a hell of a punish on this fast fall dodge, which Light has been doing a lot because Ivysaur has things like up B and up air, so you kind of have to air dodge, and then this happens. So. Like, that's why a lot of times you'll see Light go for, like, high side Bs or something, uh, but doesn't there. Because also it's Ivysaur, so it's like side B, and they just go jump, double jump, up air, and you're dead anyway, so. This is the dash. But again, Light mashing in that situation would be good. Imagine if a Squirtle doing, like, F-Tilt, wait, someone mashes, and they, like, dash grab, that'd be, like, I gotta grab that up-tilt. Up-tilt's definitely not safe on shield. I mean, it's missing the neutral get-up. Kind of a weird animation, honestly, Squirtles, but... Down air at zero, not gonna lead to anything, and Quinn knows it. And so does Light. Up against the down air, doesn't get the tech chase. Low profile under the up-tilt, or it was a little too far, maybe, I'm not sure. We're taking a lot of damage, but this is just kind of what's gonna happen. Like, Fox will force Vortex you, like it happens. Finally gets out, gets back air grab, forward throw, up B, got out a single time and got the stock for it. Literally, it was the light show for like the past, what, 20, 30 seconds? Gets one back air. Boom. Razor Leaf on the too high illusion, and then up B. It's super good. Falling Nair is also gonna be very good in those situations. Probably should have Nair out of shielded, but, you know. You always sometimes, you sometimes definitely forget uh, that Fox, Psybe, or up B, yeah, Psybe doesn't go through. So this was a funny interaction. So you're going to air dodge there because might as well. And then you get the tech and then you still take 50. And yeah, Light knowing not to air dodge there because he literally died for it first stock. And so just coming down with an air. But that's like that mix up, right? This fan, it's really good for Fox because if you're wrong against Fox, he either gets down to the ground and is neutral so hard to deal with or he kills you. If you're wrong the other way. Yeah. The fair there is so good. And then you try to get this down here. I mean, the short hop, the first short hop was for side B. This is definitely a, you're going to side B short hop. Uh, didn't. Could have actually drifted farther out and then gone for down air if light goes right to the ledge. Like that. But doesn't go for it. Forward throw. See that? See, forward out of shield's okay because it instantly hits the person at the ledge. But I feel like down air is just not. Edge trap, this is so scary versus like That was so fast. Holy shit. I mean smart. That was so smart. Cause of course Fox is gonna just like go for nares and stuff, and he was gonna like full hop probably to like catch the timing. That was so good. Oh my god, that was incredible. I haven't seen that. That was so clean. Yeah, just Squirtle damage. Good old 46. Kind of knew that Light was going to air dodge, but still missed it. Um, what is happening? You said... Oh, missed the double jump. Or did a short hop double jump instead of full hop double jump. It's technically always better to try to get hit through Fox, so like behind Fox, because obviously in this game, every back dash is worse than the forward dash. So if you, if you had to SDI one way, you should be SDIing... Well, sometimes up to miss the lining hit, but if you're gonna pick it like left or right, just, you should always do behind box. That's the down smash. Yeah, Light's been doing a lot of those a little bit too high illusions. 
and gets punished for it. See again, that's the parry uh, that as Charizard, he did parry up B, but doesn't have the option of Squirtle to do anything besides just shield, but so he gets hit for it, and then if he's gotta get a body. Nice down out of shield, or oh no, down throw. Up tilt Nair, up air, and what's the read? Yep, read the air dodge, but uh, not quite enough mobility on Ivysaur. I love the up throws for light, because down throw doesn't really do anything, the up throw just puts immediately into a better type of advantage state for Fox. See, again, going too high, just go to ledge, dude. Like, I know it's hard to get off of ledge as Fox, and you've been struggling, but like, it's better than dying every time immediately. Fox can't really punish that. Nether cancel to actually get center stage, that's crazy. That's so good, because of, of course, like, Light doesn't really want to back up, because you don't want to give up that space, because that's where Light has got a lot of his, um, damage throughout, especially the first set. Um, you don't want to just, like, not edge trap, but sometimes you're too close, and then you lose the entirety of stage, and then you lose the entire set. Oh, that didn't, I thought it was going to kill right there, I was about to be like, ah, lovely, the sentence leads into the entire thing. Uh-oh, oh, oh backer, you guys going to get backered. He's back. Oh, four tilt. Charizard! Good when it counts. And yeah, I think I think like to tried tried to go back to ledge. But good stuff by Quid. I mean overall Quid played really well. The decision making to like go in the air versus on the ground, the edge guarding was a little bit suspect sometimes, especially against uh well specifically against Leon, because the edge guarding was somehow better versus Yoshi than Bowser. Um but overall very, very strong. I'm very excited to see where they go. I know they have the Pac-Man secondary, which is really important because in the faster, mashier matchups that maybe Pokemon Trainer can't really deal with, Pac-Man is going to help slow the matches down. Uh, and I didn't see any of that here, but it's going to be very, very good. So let me know if there's other people you want me to analyze. I've been doing a lot of those, and I know I'm uploading all the ones I've done before. So uh, just let me know in the comments, and I would appreciate it. Of course, go check out Encore Esports USA, which is the channel that uh, just uploaded all of those. I will subscribe myself. And I will see you all next time. Pikachu busted.